Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to create a table in MySQL or MariaDB by using Heidi SQL. Let's go to the server where we have installed the Heidi SQL, open it, and then we will connect to the MariaDB. I have uh, this uh, node name here, and then uh, I have a username, password, and port. Hit open. You are going to see the databases here. I have TBIT and Tech Brothers IT. Those are two user databases. Uh, rest of databases are uh, our system databases i would like to create our table in tbit so right click on the tbit database uh, go to create new and then hit the table now you will be providing the name of the table i'm going to go ahead and say sale total sale table and uh, in comments you will can say save uh, sale data doesn't really matter you can it's your choice if you would like to provide comments or not okay you will hit uh, add a column here and then provide the columns I'm gonna go for the first column called it ID integer type and I would like to have a length maybe five it's going to be very small table uh, and it's not a whole lot records so five is fine for me allow null and no I don't want any null values in this column and the default value I would like to do auto increment uh, so every time the record is inserted this value for this column should be auto incremented hit ok next uh, I would like to add another column called the sale person name sale person name this is going to uh, going to be a watcher so it can uh, vary uh, maybe people can have name of 5 character maybe 10 or 20 so I'm gonna keep it uh, 50 for uh, just uh, for my uh, kind of like some people has long name so it it will fit into 50 characters allow null no I don't want it and uh, then uh, what I would like to do uh, default value I don't want uh, any default value for this one if I click here no default value okay then next part of what I would like to do another column type uh, called sold date maybe sold date so this is going to be sold date and time and uh, here I can select uh, only if I hit D it will bring me here you can see the tooltip comes and you can see what uh, that this data type is what are the range for this uh, values uh, you can save for this data type uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, hit uh, date uh, time you have time year everything so I'm gonna go for date time here it will ask you the precision like okay you want to go millisecond or microsecond or nanosecond so I'm gonna go just for three and uh, then uh, uh, default value I don't want any default value or if you want default as you can have a select uh, the default value let's say current date time timestamp hit ok now our table definition is ready we can uh, hit uh, create or run and it should uh, uh, create the table so let's say hit save now it is given us uh, one error it's an incorrect uh, data table definition there can be only one auto column and it must be defined as key okay that's fine uh, that's what we are saying right here we can change that so right click here go to the create new index uh, and go to the primary so I'm creating uh, an index uh, and also telling you this ID column uh, is going to be unique and it should be auto incremented I have other options here so you can see I have basic where you provide table name the list of the columns data types and uh, other information so you can see right here next uh, you have uh, uh, options here you can uh, change it let's say you can uh, change the default correlation uh, you can say uh, different uh, uh, engine types uh, so you can select one of them server so default is fine for me and uh, if you want to move more uh, kind of do uh, research and provide different values according to your table or requirement you can do that indexes uh, in our case uh, we have index on uh, ID fine you if you want to create more indexes you can create here you can remove it uh, you have foreign key uh, relationship if you would like to create it uh, in our case we don't have uh, any uh, primary and foreign key relationship with any other table partition and uh, here is uh, your create code you can see that uh, this is how the SQL script will be created depending on uh, from uh, the uh, uh, name of the table and columns of, of the table and data types we have selected so uh, you can see create table that's the name and then you have integer auto increment sale person name not null and uh, date time default current timestamp and primary key on ID and uh, these are comments and this is our correlation good so hit save it should create a table 
and you can see that the table is uh, created so we can uh, just go ahead and go to that database and uh, hit refresh so now we should be all good this table is uh, created right here you can see if you want to make changes you can further go and make changes always you can insert let's say if you want to add another column here so let me drag it at the end okay we are going to uh, discard this one and come back at the end uh, and then uh, we will uh, add another column so that should go at the end in case uh, I want to say product name and this is going to be watcher as well okay and uh, in watcher what you have is uh, 50 characters uh, okay allow null is fine if I will run this one uh, I can go ahead and save it you will see the whatever the script uh, it will show us uh, right here so right now we have 55 lines here if I will save it you're gonna see all these lines created so it's an alter table add column product name what you are 50 and uh, null after sold date so that's where it did create it uh, all right for this much uh, for now uh, uh, I will see you guys in next video uh, where we will insert some data into the table thanks very much see you